Welcome. What a crazy time this is on planet Earth. If you're tuning in with us here right now, then you're in the right place. We recognize there's a lot of crazy going on. We don't have to be crazy within it. That's a choice. Okay. So it's a sink or swim time. I think ride the waves. There's going to be so many waves. They're not going to stop. And so let's get used to this and recognize the power of it. These are waves of transformation. We want to ride them, they're exhilarating. We don't want to be taken down by them, we don't want to drown, okay? But we must recognize that there is power in every one of these transformational waves of energy that's coming to the planet right now. Everyone is bringing us, every wave is bringing us more and more light, more and more light. It says we can look more deeply within, bringing in the light, bringing out the old, recognizing what's what, deciding what to keep, making choices, new choices, positive choices that support you to be you, not compromised choices made because that's what you think you should do or that's because what someone's told you to do or that's the right thing to do based on some historic programming but choices made from your heart heart's where the power is and the waves will come in and they'll come into your heart therefore your heart they might send your mind wobbling but that will help to show you that you're in your mind the crazy goes on, okay? But your heart, as you allow the waves to come into your heart, they will support you in this transformational journey of processing, releasing, letting go, and allowing all that no longer serves you to be released in full. It's an exciting time. And so know that those waves are purposeful and powerful. They're there to purge what's in the head because that's the beliefs, the programs, all the unconscious stuff. We need to look at all of that. How can we move on with loads of stuff buried? We can't. You start putting skeletons in the cupboard, they're going to come out to haunt you some other time. Can't keep that lid on those worms. We've got all the metaphors. We know it, don't we? Yeah, yeah, it's uncomfortable to let it all out. But we've got to. It's what we've come to do, part of what we've come to do. The more we resist it, the longer it takes, okay? So just get on board with it. No in your heart, that these waves are coming to stir all this up, the depths of this unconscious, suppressed conditioning, the slavery and darkness of our human history. It will leave nothing in the shadows. All the shadows will be released. It takes time. It takes courage. It takes a witness, and you're that witness. And so be the witness from your heart space, not in the crazy head space, as the wave comes in and you're plunged into the depths and the darkness. You can watch the depths and the darkness release and reveal and release and reveal from an observational perspective through the heart that's energized by those waves, supporting the heart to open more with greater compassion. Compassion for self, compassion for this history that we're carrying, for all those that have come before us and all the darkness that's been experienced and that which is still going on. heart space is opening up 
to be able to process this from a place of compassion so that we can finally see all that needs to be seen and we can clear the way And once we've cleared the way, we can build on new foundations. You cannot build something new, strong and amazing like the new earth that we're going to build. You can't build that on rocky foundations. Who would? It would be crazy to do that. All this rubble, yeah, all these shadows, all this unleveled ground, start building something amazing on that. It would soon come tumbling down, wouldn't it? So we need a new foundation and it needs to be solid. And we're going to do that. The new earth is built on that solid foundation of heart-centered creation. And we are the space through which the process of change takes place. We're going to learn to recognize bit by bit through our own experience, interaction, relationship. We're going to learn to recognize what's heart-centered and what isn't. We're going to come home, come home to the truth of who we really are, compassionate human beings, interconnected, interwoven with the natural world in the most incredible creative relationship with our planet. And from that foundation of knowing, of absolute knowing, We will build our foundation, making new choices. Choices in some ways that may never have been made before. We don't even know what some of these choices will be yet. But we can start to make a choice within our own lives as to what we listen to, what we take on board, what we're prepared to have in our reality and what we choose not to have. What we choose to be triggered by and what we choose to resolve. What we choose to release. What we choose to do to stay in our power. And what we choose to do when we recognize we're being disempowered. All this and more is relevant now. The groundwork needs to be done. But first we have to purge, clear the way, to make sure we're not running these old scripts these old narratives that are just going to leave some of this that we no longer need in place as an echo which will just come back in some other way, in some other distorted way. We don't want any of that anymore. We have to clear the way personally within every single human being, we carry this history, this narrative, this information body. And it's changing. We are the foundation of a new earth in physical form. Our physical bodies hold the information of an old world, and a new world. And as we release the old, and we awaken the new, 
and we begin to rise in power. So we become the embodiment of the new information that's required. The new dialogues that will occur come from within. They are integrated through the cells of our body as a unified, harmonious, balanced, integrated system of awakened presence that aligns with all. Not an isolated, singular, separate being with its own ideas. We can all have our ideas. But there's a symphony. And we're all part of it. And the pains and the struggles and the tragedy and the suffering of the awakening process is not here to hurt you. To compromise you. To create physical ailments that you can't heal. It's here to help you to recognize when you're in your power, when you're in balance, when you're in true alignment, so that you can be in superposition, in the perfect place for you, as the creative being that you are, aligned, awake, and part of a symphony an orchestrated awakening of planetary awareness that puts us into alignment as human beings with a much greater awakening that's occurring. We're a small part of this. We get so into how important we are, you know. <laughs> and we are important, but we're not as well. But the place that we play, the roles that we are, the roles that we play is important because it holds a particular frequency. As you let go of all that you're not and come into who you truly are, that shifts resonance. The frequency that you hold as the old you in the old world is not the same frequency as the new you in the new world. So it's a frequency shift, a frequency change. And that's when you become important. Because you're holding the frequency of change. A certain frequency that aligns us with a greater guiding wisdom and intelligence which is working with our planet to support all to be as one. So the only thing that's really important is that we know we're all one. Everything else is stories that create division and separation. And so bit by bit, we're gonna let go of all those stories. Heal all that division. Come back into true power. Real awakened power. And as we do, we come into alignment in full. And from that place of purposeful, awakened power, we become the foundation and clarity of a new, more evolved way of being, which uses its creative power to conceive and to create in harmony with our beloved planet. Not in conflict, not in separation, but as one with all. And so the guidance that's coming in as waves to our planet right now to bring us into our hearts is helping to guide us into position so that we can play an important part in that process. So however that looks for you right now, and it can be uncomfortable sometimes, no doubt about that. It can be really challenging sometimes, there's no doubt about that. 
can be frightening, can be overwhelming, can be really stressful. All of that is true. Okay. But it's a process and it's changing all the time. And the more awareness you get of how the process works and how you work yourself personally within that process, how you uniquely work with these energies, the more understanding, the more awareness you get of that, then the easier it is to ride these waves, to be in a centered place, to see what's going on, to recognize the distortions, to stay in the clarity, to recognize that the old is releasing, the new is being revealed, the awakening is occurring and that a new world is being born because it's being born through you you are the birth of the new earth it's not somewhere else, it's here, it's in you that's where the power and the magic really is when you realise that and align with that support that Be present to that. Nothing you really have to do but learn to flow with what's going on. It's all so perfectly orchestrated. If we could only surrender, if all we had to do was surrender. Can you surrender? What if you do that now? And if you can't, then start to recognize why you can't. And you'll start to recognize the patterns and the programs, the concerns that you have. You can start to gently look at all of that. We do like to feel like we're in control. We have a lot of controlling beliefs. You can look at all of that and more. And if you want support and help in looking at that and more, then stay tuned. We've got so much great insight to bring you through this awakening time, this energetic support that's coming through to you, aligning you with your own guiding wisdom and intelligence. And we're here for you through this time because we're all in this together. We're all in it together. So like and subscribe, do what you got to do to stay tuned in, okay? Let me know how you are in the comments, if there's anything specific that you're struggling with. Because most people are having very similar struggles, but some people can't articulate it as well as others. Just get it noted down in the comments, in whatever way. And then from that, we'll bring some more information to you help allow more of these waves to come in to support the awakening process with more grace and more ease. We get in our own way so often. Part of it's learning not to do that. Okay. Surrender. That's the, that's the key. <laughs> But not easy, especially in our society, how we've been indoctrinated to be. A lot of trust is involved and we must learn to trust. Trust the bigger guide in wisdom and intelligence that's here to support us. And if we don't trust it, then that's another conversation to have with ourselves, isn't it? Why don't we trust it? Then you'll start to see more of the dialogue when you ask yourself those important questions. It's all an inside job to start to recognize the patterns we have that get in the way of the simple things like just being, just 
simply be.